Hi, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on a walkthrough tour inside and out of this 2007 National RV Dolphin 32 footer. Now, this is the shorty 32 foot. It's not that short, but for class A, big class A, this is a, a shorty. It's 32 foot long and uh, it's got all the luxury features starting with a remote controlled power awning which I can close from a handheld remote or switches on the inside power awning closes up automatically I'm using the uh, remote and I can close it or I can open it and it's full body paint since we have the Sun shining on it we're gonna walk all the way around then we're gonna go inside this has the dual pane thermal insulated and sound insulated windows with two panes of glass in each window as you can see there was two panes of glass there it's full body paint with a total mirror finish exterior there is no physical damage worth noting. There might be a light scratch. You can barely see it. Um, but pretty much there's no physical damage on this motorhome. Cosmetically close to perfect condition. Let's get close. We're going to take a look at the paint and the storage on this side. And I'm going to show you this has the triple power step. Those steps automatically uh, open or close when you open or close the door, or they stay out if you want that until you start the engine, then they close up. Let's take a close look at the paint here with this camera. The fiberglass and paint are in very good condition. Here's that light scratch right here. If we open the storage, they're lighted storage bays and they're carpeted. And another thing about this coach, this has the big Alcoa aluminum 22 and a half inch wheels and tires. And these are not the original tires. These tires have a day code, I think, of uh, 2010. Whenever you look at RV tires, you want to look at the date codes on them. So they're not new. They've been replaced already and there are no cracks tires now in a different part of the video I'm going to show you uh, a closer look at the underneath and the, the tires but we didn't see any cracking whatsoever in any of the tires now this has full pass-through storage in other words the storage bin goes all the way through to the other side which I got to put my camera in that mode and then I'll pass it over there a lot of storage you've got an exterior TV connection right here with a power outlet lighted storage bins and this one passes through to the other side as well gotta put my camera in the right mode so I can show you so it's full pass through from left to right and straight across makes it easy to haul eight foot long items this RV also has a diesel style inverter. It's got the big inverter charger unit here. And I'll talk to that as we walk around, but this big green, red, black, and gray box is an inverter. It's a highly powerful inverter. And that does two things. Again, the Alcoa aluminum rims. You have to realize most RVs come with 20, with 19.5 inch rim diameter this has the much larger truck size tires but they are RV tires this does have the premium Michelin tires on it and there are no cracks you've got side cameras on this motorhome it's full color backup camera system and it's a brand new backup camera and a brand new monitor we did a lot of servicing this is the 5320 model you've got dual pane windows hanger style towing mirrors so if you you have almost seven feet of uh, 
ground clearance from your mirrors. So if you just drive really close, you know, past a wall or something to get it into your yard, you've got a lot of clearance. It'll go right over a six foot wall. And up on the front here, there's no center piece. This is a one piece windshield. And when I get inside, it has a nice, huge uh, shade curtain, uh, power sun visor that lowers down. This had an invisible shield uh, bra over the front of it. It was no good, so we removed it. But uh, again, the side cameras, Alcoa aluminum rims, all the paint, fiberglass, and windows you can see through, no problem. A rain, uh, shi a rain guard to keep water from dripping all over the windshield as much as possible. This really nice full body paint. This is a factory paint body, uh, factory paint job. Most of the dolphins don't have full body paint. Only some of the newest ones do. It's really nice. I saw some others that were for sale, but they wanted like seventy thousand plus for those motorhome. And they're probably worth it. But keep in mind, this only has about twenty thousand miles on it, roughly. And some of that was from driving across country back and forth. 50 amp power cable, uh, gas and electric water heater. And we were going to talk about something. I forgot what I was going to. Oh, the inverter. We have the generator running right now. This has a uh, this has a bigger than you would normally find generator. Let's take a look at that. This is the Onan 7000. Most gas motorhomes only have a 5500 or 4000 watt generator. So this is almost double the size capability of your typical C-Class motorhome. It's got an Onan 7000 generator. And so that's plenty of power to support your 50 amp system. Run all your ACs. And uh, the um, inverter lets you watch TV without running the generator so if you're driving along and it's not too hot and you just want to play the TV or if you're camped you know some campgrounds don't have any hookups I like campgrounds that have hookups but if you go to a national park a lot of the national parks don't and state parks don't have any hookups they're just a parking spot where you can park the RV so you have to bring all your electricity and everything with you and then they have quiet time you know, maybe like 8 p.m. at night, the generators have to stay off. So, how are you going to watch TV without a generator? This is no problem. It has that big inverter that I showed you earlier. Let's open that power awning back up and show you that it doesn't just close, it opens. And then we're going to work our way to the inside. I did mention this has an all new top of the line backup camera system. It's, I'm going to show you inside how good it really is. But we put a, a brand new backup camera on the back and a brand new monitor inside. We re had to replace it. Um, and this backup camera is an ultra wide, high definition, tiny little camera up there, has outstanding visibility day or night. So you can see from straight down to your trailer hitch all the way out for about uh, 100 feet or more behind the, the motorhome and wide field of view so I'm standing right here if you look at the backup camera you can see me standing here so you got a full uh, I think it said it's a hundred and seventy degree wide field of view approximately on that backup camera makes it really easy to drive those big towing mirrors this thing is as easy to drive as a Toyota Prius it's really simple it's not as it's a longer so if you can get your head around it, it's really easy to drive. Being only 32 feet, this this looks like a huge motorhome because it is very tall, but it's only about the size in length of your typical C-Class motorhome, but it has so much more room than the C-Class motorhome. And we're gonna show you that as we go inside. So we're gonna cut this outside video and then we're gonna go inside and then we're gonna show you underneath and stuff like that. So let's cut to the inside. Okay, let's take an inside tour of this National RV Dolphin. Walking inside, taking a look through the interior, show you what it's got. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So this does have a home theater system. I, we're playing some music in it right now. It's got the flat panel TV in the front and the flat screen TV in the rear. So this is a full 5.1 home theater. So you can you can turn it up. It's got uh, hidden speakers. Right now I'm playing off of um, an iPhone. I'm playing some Adele. So play it through the um, Hello. home theater system. It's you can me. crank it all the way up or pause it. That's stowed away right there in the video console. It has a multi DVD changer in there as well. Um, flat panel TV with a RV grade mount and you're watching digital over the air broadcast through its uh, digital tuner. It's not cable connected. This is over the air. In my area we get over a hundred channels. Uh, um, so you know you can change 2.1, 2.2, 4.1, 4.2, etc. Just change the channels and it's HD over the air. Go back to golf. I think that was golf. I don't remember. So, nice big screen TV in the front. That's a 32 inch. Let's take a tour of the rest of the inside. So, you've got new carpet in this coach. It was not replaced by us. It was recently replaced. Uh, Corian countertops, brand new convection microwave oven that we replaced because the previous one had an issue. So brand new zero time convection microwave oven that gets hot just like a, an oven and it also gets hot like a microwave. A uh, three burner cooktop right here down underneath so you can uh, fry your eggs and stuff like that nice fully functional refrigerator it does have an ice maker capability um, nice and clean it's on right now we have some cold bottled water in there and take a look in the freezer we have frozen bottled water in here it is fully functional refrigerator it does have an ice maker we haven't tried the ice maker but it does have an ice maker. You've got pocket doors that slide closed. You've got a control center here which controls all your features, your slide outs. There's a lot of room in here where the slides close or open. You've got a temperature controlled fantastic fan. That's a multi-speed fan up there. So if I push this button you can set the temperature and it has a power door that automatically opens up and then the fan will come on. These fluorescent lights are not fluorescent lights. These are full LED lighting. High performance LED lights. See the fan came on? And it, it, this is a two directional fan which means it will blow air from the outside in or it will blow from the inside out. You just set everything up here which way you want it to blow. Or if you want to turn it off, that simple. You don't have to be reaching up. It's all right here. So you've got your level test, your battery indicators, your water heater. This has two water heaters. Electric water heat and gas water heat. This is a 50 amp coach. And you also have a AC to DC to AC power inverter. This Xenatrex right here, I showed it on the outside. This is the control switch for it right here. So you just turn that switch on and then you can watch your TVs. You don't need to be plugged in. You don't need the generator going. It is a flat screen TV in the bedroom. And we are getting digital over the air broadcast. Let's take a look at the bedroom. Walk around queen size bed. It has storage drawers underneath for under bed storage. A lot of them the beds just lift up and you can store underneath. It does that too. But this actually has drawers underneath. There's a lot of cabinet space in here. These cabinets all open up and you can stow things down low. You've got drawers. You've got two wardrobe compartments here. 
you've got a little shoe locker right there a little set of a little mini dresser again over the air broadcast with a digital tuner you've got uh, lights various reading lights in the uh, headboard here up overhead you've got little um, wall switches to turn your lights on um, let's show you the drawers underneath the bed there's various drawers you've got power outlet right here power outlet phone jack we don't use phone jacks much anymore drawers right there but if I lift this up we have drawers under the bed you can pull out it store more stuff under your bed that's not most RVs that go cheap they don't have that capability but does have drawers under there which is nice all all the carpet was replaced in here so no odors it does have dual pane thermal pane windows again a sliding pocket style door right here and this has a fully ducted air conditioning. It's a central air conditioner unit. The air conditioning is located under the back of the unit, under on the other side. Uh, sinks and faucets are working correctly. Showers working nicely. This is a residential style shower head, so you can turn that on. And we're just on the water pump. It works just. Just like taking a shower at home, it's a standard residential style shower. Now National RV, this brand, has a very sturdy shower with a very reinforced uh, floor. Some motorhomes, you step in the shower and it feels like you're standing on a plastic bag. Not this one, this is real fiberglass uh, shower tub. It's really nice. Oh, let's show you, I remembered. All your electrical is right here and it's circuit breakers, it's not fuses. So if you pop something, you just push the circuit breaker back in, as long as there's no shorts or anything like that. You've got all circuit breakers for all the encode circuits, and then you've got your high power circuits for your air conditioning and everything right here. Easy access, just in case you zap something. Of course, the dinette can turn into a bed. This goes down and then these cushions will turn into like a sleeping accommodation. You have a jackknife sofa. So there is storage underneath the sofa. There's three seat belts in the sofa. Or you can just jackknife it to sleep in that position. This motorhome has a total of five seat belts. It's got power outlets everywhere. It's got that home theater system. A lot of storage. You've got a pantry area here. Let's take a look at that. You got a, a locking pantry and then this slides out and you can store your bags of chips and various dry goods in there and lock it so it doesn't slide open when you're driving. Let's take a look at the restroom. We have a decent restroom here with a porcelain toilet. It's got its own ventilation and you've got a porcelain toilet right there. You've got a rinse wand so you can easily clean it up. You've got water source right there to clean up um, and keep it nice and tidy in there. Let's see what else we're missing here. Uh, stainless steel double sink Corian countertops. This is a brand new faucet. We had to replace the faucet so this is brand new. It's got a switch right here so you can go spray or stream and then pull that out shouldn't have any problems with the faucet and got these little covers in there so you can plug that off the water system is is doing well we haven't had any problems with it a lot of storage in the um, kitchen area a lot of counter space as well RV this is a short 32 footer and it has a lot of counter space for a 32 foot motorhome most C classes don't have this much counter space and of course you can use a three burner cooktop or you can use the convection microwave and this is a high capacity I think it's a 1.7 cubic foot so it's extremely large uh, microwave is stainless steel inside 
we've tested it it's brand new it works perfect I'm gonna go on and show you the driver's systems in the front of the coach let's hop in the driver's seat and show you a couple things starting with the driver's seat all the material is in really good shape it is a power driver's seat so you got power controls right here you know um, six way one two three four five six six way uh, power driver seat you've got also swivel and recline and you've got various controls here for your armrests and so forth the material is looks like brand new it may have been replaced we didn't replace it but it looks like brand new both front seats this other uh, chair as well let's hop in the driver's seat and start up the engine and show you what this thing's got point out this is has this amazing front shade here which is black you have a power shade control power shade or visor so with my little switch I can roll this up you drive with the sun in your eyes in a motorhome a class A motorhome one disadvantage is you have a huge windshield but it's not a disadvantage on this motorhome it's an advantage first of all this is a one-piece windshield most motorhomes even dolphins the older ones had a center bar in the middle of the windshield so when you take a picture of the national park or something you're driving through you got that center bar but not on this one it's a one-piece windshield all the way across and you got this power visor so you can aim it down as low as you want you know driving into the evening when the sun is in your eyes you lower this down and block out the sun there is zero light penetration at night you close this all the way down so that you have your privacy and then these side curtains these side window shades as well these pull up and down they're manual but you just have side shades and the side curtain it's not a full wrap around you just have to pull it up pull it up and then you have your privacy it's a lot easier than crawling in the dash and dealing with that it's nice so this we had to put in a brand new backup camera and monitor it has full color backup camera and side cameras so when I turn on the turn signal I get a side camera view which you see the slide is open right now it's color side cameras turn on the other turn signal and we see the other color view full side cameras and that is an outstanding backup camera see down here we're actually looking at the back of the motorhome straight down to the ground this has a 170 degree color field of view, vision 170 degrees wide view you've got guidelines on here and you can see you know if you were towing a trailer you could see the trailer and you could see what's behind the trailer um, and it has excellent night vision it's a, it's a state-of-the-art backup camera it's a really nice camera I'm very impressed with it I can't brag enough about it and you can select through your menus and change things here so you can select different camera views side camera other side camera you can do this anytime when you're driving works really well I'm quite pleased with it you've got day and night modes you've got other modes you can change and again the monitor the backup cam camera monitor is brand new because I don't know what happened to the other one but uh, this is a brand new monitor and it's a Voyager that's the best brand you can have it did not have a Voyager before but it has a Voyager now and it works really well um, you've got a nice uh, satellite capable dash stereo with a multi-disc CD changer so you got CDs you can install your uh, CD cartridge right here fill it full of CDs stuff it in there and then the CD changer will play to the factory radio these are the same brand there they work together so this is controls the CD changer Generator hours are pretty low. I'll turn off the radio. 
231 hours. Now I've used quite a bit. I think it was under 100 hours. I probably used the generator myself more than 40 hours. We did service the generator so the work generator works continuously. There are three sets of keys. I've got a remote control for the awning and a set of keys. There are two complete sets of the entry keys and some extra keys among these three sets. Uh, dash AC is blowing cold. The roof AC is blowing cold. It's like 100 degrees outside and it is cold. This is the Ford chassis. Let me click my camera here. It's got 21,980 miles on it. Several thousand of those were driving it from Florida to California. It's got a trip meter. So I estimate about two, three thousand miles I put on it myself. And it has 521 engine hours on the on the front engine. So you've got all kinds of control switches here. You've got dash fans, which is really nice. So up here you have dash fans. So you can turn on the dash fans with that switch. And each dash fan has its own little switch. A high, off or low. So if somebody wants the fans and somebody else doesn't want the fans, each person has their own fan control to operate the fan to get it to the way you want it. Over here we have hydraulic leveling jack controls. These are power gear. This is a very good brand. You've got power mirrors. And I'd like to point out when I open this curtain here, we have hangers mirrors here with about seven foot clearance. I'm next to a six foot wall here and I can get really close to the wall and I don't have to worry about it, the mirror hitting the wall because the mirror is above the wall. That's one advantage of this coach and it has a wide convex and a power aiming main. That's nice. You've got drink holders here, you've got level indicators so you can check your level. Uh, power leveling jacks and a nice little center console. Now this center console can be taken out and moved out of the way. If you don't want to hear, this can remove out and then you have an open space here or you put it back in and it goes there, however you want it. That's a movable center console. The passenger seat swivels around and I'm going to have to cut the video so it's not too long. Go on to the, uh, the next phase of my video. Mike Johnson, 951-681-2101, give me a call. Hi, Thank this you. is Mike Johnson taking you on a chassis inspection video of this National RV Dolphin. Run the camera around, look at the tires, look at the brakes, take a look at it. So the tires that were replaced, these are not the original tires. These are uh, pretty new tires. There are no evidence of any cracking in the tires whatsoever they are michelins and they're on alcoa aluminum rims this is the 22 and a half inch tire size let's go look at the brakes that's your brakes over there your shocks differential fuel tank Hydraulic leveling jacks. Again, your fuel tank. National puts big armored plates underneath the fuel tank that prevent you from backing into something and causing it to puncture. That's nice. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. So let me aim my camera a little bit here. Don't get dizzy. So taking a look at the tires again try to get the camera at the right angle look at the drive line you have a rear anti-roll bar look again at the brakes the rotors look really good those are your rotor discs there's not much corrosion or rust underneath here some Motorhomes look like rust buckets underneath, and we don't see any of that here. 
you get a little bit of oxidation and stuff like that is normal but we don't see anything unusual looks real good underneath here it's actually nice and clean underneath here your exhaust doesn't look rusty or anything you've got a big triple power step to get in to the motorhome this national RV Dolphin take a look at the transmission no signs of leaks transmission looks good sorry about that aluminum is in good order the exhaust it all looks good take a look again at the tire now the day code on this tire is 5 of 10 so that's when the tire was made and of course this is an 07 coach sometimes they put the tires in the warehouse and they sit there for you know two three years before they even put them on so this was looks like it hasn't been in the sun you want to check your tires for cracks between the treads we don't see any cracking between the treads and we don't see any cracking in the sidewall usually close to the center there is no cracking at all so the tires are good you know uh, we've actually drove this motorhome from Florida to California and it drove really well so the tires are good you always want to check your tires before each chip, trip and check for issues check the pressures it's very important to maintain proper tire pressure on motorhome tires a lot of people never check them and then they get down to 50 or 60 pounds these tires should be running at 90 psi 90 pounds per square inch of air pressure and if you let them run down at 50 pounds per square inch that'll just tear the tires apart it'll feel like a soft ride because they're squishy beach balls your gas mileage would suffer if you run low pressure again Alcoa aluminum rims so it's very important to maintain good tire pressure again we're checking for cracks and we're not finding a single crack in any of these tires shocks leveling jacks looking at the transmission looks all good I'm doing my best to hold my camera steady I have a stabilized platform here again inspecting all the tires for cracks between the treads if you look at enough motorhomes as many as vehicles as I do you'll notice the uh, condition Michelin's if there's a crack they won't hide it you'll see it oh I did a back flip on my camera that's a mistake let me get it at the right angle and try again so taking a look again at the tire treads now these are Alcoa aluminum rims and I should disclose to you when you see the RVs with aluminum rims it's only on the outside that you'll have aluminum rims the inside rims are steel and that's the way Ford makes it that's they're all like that you don't get inside aluminum rims you get an inside steel wheel so it's steel on the inside and then um, rear suspension fuel tank we've seen that let's go look at the generator now I'm going to show you on this generator we did replace the fuel pump on it and if I can get my camera at the right angle I will show you that So here's the bottom of the generator this is a brand new 
fuel pump and filter that we put on. These has unusually difficult to find Onan 7000 generator. It looks just like a 5500 generator, but it's not. It's is a 7000. So when you look at the information plate, this is a almost 60 amp uh, power output from the generator right there and try to get my camera angle just right let me see what I can do here uh, can't do it I was gonna start up the generator from outside but it, I can't hold the camera and do it at the same time it's just me out here filming it it's this generator starts and runs it runs smooth it'll power the air conditioning units no problem and it has uh, 7,000 watts or almost 60 amp output from the generator the the RV power is only 50 amp on park power so it has more power from the generator than it does have from park power um, let's take a look you'll notice this has the side hinge cargo compartment you have full pass-through side hinge is really cool it makes it easy to get into the storage underneath the slide out here and let's look at the clean out station here since uh, we're down here and then we'll wrap it up so you have a black and a gray tank you've got all this uh, included hardware um, comes with it this is all brand new maybe used once or twice but you got two sets of hoses and you've got an outside shower right here to rinse off you've got uh, clean outs and this ta this one has a black tank flush as well as a fresh water in that black tank flush is really nice it makes it easy to uh, flush out your tanks for storage so you don't build up odors or anything in the coach you just turn fresh water on the black tank flush and it washes everything out that you wouldn't want in there sitting my name is Mike Johnson, 951-681-2101 is my phone number, thank you. Trying to...